It's a year since the lockdown was announced. It has been a year like no other in our memories. There are so many memories, good and bad, for us to take from this last year. But we come together to hold those memories in a time of prayer and reflection on this last year and to pray for ourselves and each other and our world as we go forwards into the next year and to whatever the future brings. Friends, we meet in the presence of God, who knows our needs, hears our cries, feels our pain and heals our wounds. We come together today in prayer to reflect on this past year and the pain and loss we have experienced. We come to lay our hurt and anger, our helplessness and our grief before God, to give voice to our lament and to open ourselves to hope and healing in him. We come to give thanks that even in the midst of tragedy, we stood together as a community, supporting one another and rekindling our hope in the kindness and love of neighbours, friends and strangers. Let us pray. God of love, as we think about all that has changed this year, Help us to trust that you are always with us. As we remember those who have died, help us to trust they are at peace with you. As we reach out to others with kindness and care, may hope shine out in every heart and home. Amen. We bring before you, Lord, the tears of sorrow, the cries for help, the vulnerability of pain. Hear us and heal us, O God. We bring before you, Lord, our sense of frustration, our feeling of powerlessness, our continued fears for the future. Hear us and heal us, O God. God of love, God of truth, God of life, God of hope. You know our hearts are heavy as well as hopeful. In your mercy, hear our prayer. In your wisdom, grant us those things that will lead us forward to wholeness, love and peace again. In your grace, bless us at this time with your holy and life-giving presence. Hear us and heal us, O God.
a reading from Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Your word is a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. We light candles to remind us that when God the Father raised Jesus from the dead, he defeated the power of death and his light shines on in the midst of the darkness of this world. God of all consolation, open our hearts to your word so that, listening to it, we may comfort one another, finding light in times of darkness and faith in times of doubt. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Living God, you hold all our times in your hands, our past, our present, our future. Be close to us now as we remember all the difficulties and disappointments of the past year. Be especially close to all of us who are thinking of someone we loved and knew, but see no longer, whether family, friend, colleague or neighbour. Help us to trust that they are at peace with you and comfort us with your presence. Amen. Loving God, you place us in families and communities and we give you thanks for all those around us who serve us and help us in so many ways. Give wisdom to community leaders, to our schools, hospitals, care homes and other agencies who make such a difference to our lives. Help each of us to have the courage to reach out with thanks and kindness to those around us and to speak words of faith as we share the good news of your love.
loving God, as we journey towards Easter, help us to live as people of hope, knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of resurrection. Inspire us in our worship through our churches and in our homes, that we may bring glory to you and joy to others. Be with those who are struggling in mind, body or spirit, and give courage to those who are facing uncertainty and change ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed on you, that we may reflect your light to all whom we meet. Amen. Let's pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair, and give us grace to persevere and face the future with hope. In Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, when fear and anxiety besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Amen. We pray that we may know life and hope in Jesus Christ, as together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you.
The risen Christ stretched out his hands and said, Peace be with you. And then were they glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Christ, the good shepherd, enfold us with love, fill us with peace and lead us in hope to the end of our days. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. alone my hope is found he is my light my strength my song this cornerstone this solid ground firm through the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love what depths of peace when fears are still when strife my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless play, this gift of love and righteousness. Scorned by the ones he came to say Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ Peace.